Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris out in the Cali Intake Garage. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change out your tires on your motorcycle pull behind trailers. Many of you that pull trailers, you often take your trailers to the shop to have your tires mounted and balanced. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to save a little bit of money by doing it yourself. Let's get started. Okay, before we get started on the installation of the trailer tires, I want to go over with you some of the tools that I will be using here in the Cali Intake Garage to complete this installation. One of the first thing you got to have when you change out your tires is you got to have some new tires. It's always good to have fresh rubber on the road with some very good tread. I got these online at a very good deal. I love the smell of fresh rubber. Love the smell of fresh rubber got those at a very good deal so you got to have some trailer tires to complete your installation and to protect the wheel I'm going to be using these rim shields these are protectors that I'm going to put over the wheels to protect the wheels from scratches anytime that you mount your wheels manually and you don't have the hydraulic machine you want to make sure you got some of these uh, tire protectors or rim protectors you want to make sure you got these rim protectors and they will prevent you from scratching the wheels when you remove the tires manually. To remove the tires, we're going to be using these B Pros. These are tire irons or tire rim irons, depending on what you want to call them. Very good for removing trailer tires. They're not that long. If you need more leverage for like removing like a car tire or a motorcycle tire or some of your tougher tires, it's good to get some longer tire irons. But for trailer tires, I recommend just getting the B-Pro tire irons. To balance the tires, we're going to be using the Counteract Balancing Beads. A very good, inexpensive way to balance your tires. You don't have to spend a lot of money on the Counteract Balancing Beads. And last but not least, to remove the wheels, I'm going to be using one of my favorite tools in the Cali Intake Garage, the Matco MT-1769, <laughs> one of the most highly used impact wrenches in the Cali Intake Garage, is capable of delivering 1,100 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. And one of the things I like about this Matco impact wrench is that it's got adjustable speeds. So you can crank it down on some of your smaller jobs, or you can crank it up on some of your bigger jobs. So I love the Matco MT1769A. I've actually had this Matco Impact tool for at least 15 years. I've had it for a long time. Again, one of my favorite tools and most highly used tools in the Cali Intake Garage. <coughs> so anyway, let's just go ahead and get started with the process of removing the trailer tires. Okay, in this portion of the video, I used the floor jack to lift the trailer off the ground, preparing to remove the wheels. It's a good idea to let some of the pressure out of the tire before you remove the inner core with your valve removal tool because the pressure could actually shoot the inner core out and you may lose it. So just let some of the pressure out of the tire before you move the inner core. In this portion of the video, which is the toughest part about removing a tire from the rim, would be to break the bead. So to assist in this process, I took a floor jack and two ratchet straps and I strapped the rim to the floor jack. 
I made sure that the part of the jack that presses up will not press on the rim, but would press on the tire and it would break the bead. The bead broke quite easily. All I did was took two ratchet straps. I hooked them on the bottom of the floor jack at the base of the wheel and I fed them through the wheel and I ratcheted the straps down to the floor jack. When I press up on the rubber part of the tire, it pushes up and it actually breaks the bead. A very simple process, but very effective. Later in the video, I will try to give you a better look at how I connected the straps. In order to remove a tire from the rim, you need some type of lubricant to help the tire slide over the rim. A lot of shops use a product called Bead Buster Tire Lubricant, but for home use, you can just take some Windex or even some mild soap and that will help the tire slide over the rim. So whether you work in a tire repair shop or change a lot of tires from home, having a good bead seal lubricant will make your life a lot easier. When removing a tire from the rim, you want to go ahead and try to remove the tire on the back side of the rim. If you put the tire irons on the front side, you could take the chance of actually scratching your rim. So anytime I dismount a tire, I start with the back side of the rims. When using your bead breakers, take small bites. Try not to take big bites because that tire is tough. It's going to be very hard to get it to slide over the wheel. So you want to take small bites and it's going to take a lot of muscle. So take your time. Don't get into a hurry and it eventually will slide over the wheel. Using the rim protectors will also help the tire to slide over the wheel. It's going to take a lot of muscle. So again, just use short choppy bites and eventually the tire will dismount from the wheel. Now that I have one side of the tire dismounted off the wheel, I'm having to put the tire back on the floor jack along with the two straps. I need to break the bead on the opposite side of the wheel. I'm being very careful when I lift the jack that it presses on the part of the tire and not up against the rim. You can break the bead and dismount the tire from one side of the rim or you can break the bead on both sides of the tire and then dismount the tire on both sides of the rim. In this portion of the video, I'm using the wheel protectors and one of the bead breakers on the inner portion of the wheel. Again, take your time when prying the tire off the rim. Use some lubricant. It will help aid in helping the tire slide over the rim. In this portion of the video, I use more lubricant and I just decided to take my hammer to try to get it to dismount from the rim. You can't hurt a rubber tire with a hammer as long as you don't hit the rim. So just be careful if you use a hammer, take your time and the tire will eventually dismount from the rim. Be sure to use a rubber mat or some type of protector under the wheel. You don't want to scratch it. When you get ready to mount the wheel, be sure to put some lubricant on the edges because it's going to be just as tough to mount the tire as it was to dismount the tire. It's also a good idea to lay the rim on a rubber mat or on some carpet if you don't have a tire mounting machine. When I mount my tires, I like to mount them from the backside. That way I don't scratch the front surface of the rim. With the rim protectors in place, I finally mounted the tires on the rim. So in this portion of the video, I'm going to be adding some balancing beads to the tire before I actually air the tire back up. 
And the thing I like about this balancing kit is that everything came in the box along with the balancing beads. They even gave you a squeeze bottle. So you measure out the appropriate amount of balancing beads. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can insert the balancing beads in the tire. On this particular tire, I'm going to be going through the valve stem. Once I filled up the clear tube that came provided in the kit, I tried to take the air hose and blow some of the balancing beads down the tube of the valve stem. But I found this very difficult. So the best way that I found to insert the balancing beads in the tire is just take a regular rubber mallet and hit on the side of the tire. Just keep hitting and the balancing beads will eventually drop in. Once you fill up a clear tube of balancing beads, be sure to rotate the tire around so the balancing beads don't pile up on the inside of the tire where they enter. Now that I have the appropriate amount of balancing beads measured out, inserted inside of the tire, I can reinstall the core of the valve stem. I pressurize the tire to seat the bead and fill with the appropriate amount of air, which is 25 PSI. Since my trailer has grease fittings on the hubs, now is a good time to refill the hubs with axle grease. And now that I have the hubs filled with grease, now I can reinstall the wheels on the trailer. Be sure to tighten the bolts in an X pattern on your motorcycle trailer. Repeat the exact same steps on the opposite side. When breaking the bead on the tire, be sure to take the two straps, connect them both to the bottom of the jack. The strap on the left side goes over the top of the wheel. The strap on the right side goes over the top of the wheel, but goes under the jack. Be sure to ratchet it down when lifting on the jack. Be sure to press against the tire and not the rim. With the upward force of the jack and the downward force of the ratchet straps, it will break the tire bead pretty easily. Flip the tire over and repeat the same process. And now that you have broken the bead on the tire, Spray the tire with lubricant. Insert the wheel protectors. Take your bead breakers. And force the tires over the rim. Remember to keep in mind that you are stretching rubber. So take small bites. Try not to go too big because it will be very hard to force the tire over the rim. Take very small bites and the tire will eventually dismount from the rim. And you can use the exact same steps on the right and left side. Just use your pry tools. Use whatever tools you might have in your arsenal. Some people like to use their knee. You can even use a hammer. Whatever it takes to dismount the tire from the rim. Clean the rim up and prepare to install your new tire. In this portion of the video, I add the balancing beads directly to the inside of the tire. I found this process a lot easier than trying to put balancing beads down the valve stem. I added lubricant to the tire. I used the pry tool to bring the bead over the rim. I worked the pry tools slowly around the rim until the tire was installed. I reinstall the inner core of the valve stem and tighten the inner core back down. I pressurize the tire with air to seal the bead and fill the tire with the proper pressure. I mounted the tire on the trailer. All right, everybody, uh, this is going to conclude the video of me installing the tires on my motorcycle pull behind trailer. I just want to let everybody know that's watching this video that you too can work on your own bike. 
All you need is some tools and a little bit of patience. And you can do the work yourself. You know, when you can work on your own bike, on your own trailer and change out your own tires, like I do in my videos, it gives you a feeling of self-worth, knowing that you can do your own work and your work is done correctly. Because a lot of times when you go into these shops, uh, the people that's working back there, you know, they may not be having a good day. Uh, they may not take pride in their work and they may cut corners. They may even break your break your your bike or your trailer. You know, I've heard uh, just the other day, uh, a gold wing rider that I know went and had his tire change and they broke his sensor and they didn't even give him his sensor back. So, you know, with these shops, they don't want you to come into the shop and watch them work. They'll tell you that the insurance regulations uh, don't allow you in the shop. But a lot of times these these shops don't want you to watch what they're doing. And if they break your bike or your trailer or whatever they're doing for you, um, it's going to be your word, word against theirs. So uh, when you can work on your own bike, it just gives you a feeling of self-worth, knowing that you did the work correctly. And before I end this video, I want to uh, just kind of go over some of the stuff um, that I use to change the tires on my trailer. And I will include a link in the description below where you guys can pick up some of these uh, same things that I use to change my tires. Uh, the V Pro, I actually picked these up at Revzilla a few years ago. Uh, they work real well for smaller tires. If you're going to be changing out you know, like big tires, you're going to need something a little bit longer with some leverage. But these V Pros work very well, uh, especially for changing tires on your trailer. These uh, shields, uh, they will prevent you from scratching your wheels. A lot of times I like to work on the back side of the wheel. So even if I scratch it, you won't be able to see it. So uh, be careful around the front if you're going to be taking the tire off on the front. But if you are removing that tire from the rear, you can uh, probably not use these. And if you scratch your, your rims, nobody's going to see it anyway. And the last but not least, the Counteract uh, Balancing Beads uh, work really well. I want to point out the website that you guys could go to if you decide to use the counteract balancing beads. They actually have a chart and it tells you your wheel diameter. Like in my case, I had the 12 inch wheel and here is my wheel right here, the 5.30R12. And to the right, it tells you the counter balancing beads needed and it gives you uh, the measurement in ounces. So when I measured it out, it actually uh, told me three ounces per tire. And one of the easiest way that I found to put these balancing beads in your tires to just, you know, put the balancing beads in the tire uh, before you mount it on the rim. It's a lot easier because when you try to push them down the valve stem, it just takes a lot of time. I found it a little bit easier taking a rubber mallet and kind of hitting on the side of the tire to make those balancing beads drop in. It took a while, but I did get them uh, inside. Uh, it was easier for me on the uh, second tire to just measure the balancing beads out, which was three ounces, and just go ahead and pour them in a the tire before I mounted it back on the rim. And it just made it a lot quicker, made the, the job a lot quicker. So if you guys are interested in these counter rack balancing beads, uh, I will include a link in the description where you can pick these up and visit this website. And it gives you the tire sizes. It'll let you know um, my phone always ring every time I make a video it never fails you on with Caliente go ahead what's up Greg what's going on what's going on All right, I tell you what, give me just a few minutes and I'm going to call you back. I'm working on a video. I'm fixing to close this out. Oh, uh, okay, no problem. Okay, give me a few minutes I'll, and right. I'll give you a call back, okay? Okay, all right. All right, bye-bye. My phone always rings every time I make a video. It never fails. But again, like I said, I'll, I will include uh, in the description below where you can actually pick up all of the items that I use to... Uh, mounted tires on my trailer and also with the 
with the counteract balancing beads, it came with this tube. You can actually load the uh, balancing beads in the in here, and then you can just hook them onto the valve stem. And also, I want to point out, it actually came with the with a little valve stem. Look at that. So that was actually in the bag. So it come with four ounce bags. They gave me four of these bags and it came with a valve stem removal tool as well. But once again, I will include a link in the description where you guys can pick up this stuff if you are interested in having it so you can change out your tires on your motorcycle or either on your trailer. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. If you guys have any questions or any comments, Feel free to put them down in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is your boy Chris. Out in the Caliente Garage. Out in the Caliente Garage. And I will, as always, I will talk to you guys later. See you.